Good evening. We are thrilled to share with you that the tech world has descended on Las Vegas for the Consumers Electronic Show, CES 2026. And as always, this is the World Championships of Innovation, where the designs for the next decade are drawn. The biggest noise is, of course, coming from NVIDIA, which just kicked off the show with three massive announcements. First, the Rubin platform. Successor to the Blackwell chips, the new Vera Rubin superchip is officially in production, promising five times the AI inference speed of last year's models. Number two is the era of agentic AI. CEO Jensen Huang says, we are moving beyond chatbots to agents, softwares that can reason, plan and actually do work for you. And finally, number three, it is project Alpa Mayo, which is a new brain for autonomous vehicles designed to help cars reason through unpredictable real-world scenarios, not just follow lanes. And of course, to help us read between the lines, as always, I'm joined by our tech journalist, the very astute Sanjana Gupta. Of course, great to have you with us. Sanjana, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Very well, as always. Pleasure to have you with us on front page, Sanjana. And uh, right off the bat, let's get into it. I want to ask you, as a curtain raiser, Sanjana, what all has happened at CES 2026? Please take it away. Well, firstly, thank you for inviting me. I'm always glad to be here. Um, secondly, uh, I mean, you've already mentioned a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, major developments that came out of NVIDIA. So maybe I'll, you know, go ahead and mention like a few others that I thought were of like good importance in terms sure. of looking at the entire ecosystem. So I think robotics was something that caught uh, quite a lot of eye. Uh, looking at, you know, let's say LG, uh, it put a big spotlight on its cloid robot, which is essentially mm -hmm. like a, a robot equivalent to, uh, you know, the new robot which came out household help. So essentially, you know, washing machines, laundry, unloading uh, dishwasher, serving food, so everything from top to bottom that you can think of. Um, even mm -hmm. uh, Hyundai and Boston Dynamics sort of, you know, uh, expanding uh, and uh, put out major updates in their Atlas robot. And essentially, they gave a live demo of the robot which is essentially going to start out in industrial applications and they also announced like a partnership with um, google deep mind which is something which is of good importance considering all these ai companies are bringing out you know uh, innovations in robotics and partnering mm. is something that's of uh, you know essential point here um, going ahead there's been uh, good updates in terms of when we say you know ai in the consumer electronics side uh, mm. amazon you know rolled out its web version of Alexa Plus, which means, you know, now you don't have to buy, uh, you know, Amazon device to essentially run this That's a big Gen one, AI assistant. That's a big yeah, one, yeah. And uh, I mean, sadly for the world out there, it's only going to start out with, you know, uh, early access to Alexa Plus customers. But yeah. I'm hoping, you know, we can look forward to it soon. We'll have updates mm. in for general public as well. And I think I'll give you another big one. Google introduced its Gemini for Google TV now. So you can nice. have Gemini features in Google TV. So I think that's something that will be of good importance. And I think uh, another thing that we have is something that's a little offbeat, I would say. But I mean, did you ever play with Legos when you were a child? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I guess I would say this is Legos entry into tech. And this is, I think, Legos first time. I could time never that... let go, to be honest, Sanjana. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I get that, I get that. So this yeah. is Lego's first entry into CES, and they launched a standard Lego brick, which would be embedded with, a, with an ASIC chip with sensors yeah. and a speaker, and it would be like a whole dynamic set to play with for all you know like users nice. out there it would have uh even i think um as they mentioned you know figures and minifigures and all sorts of and i think star wars is something that's going to start out uh this smart play set uh first so nice. i guess that's something of excitement and i May would say you, you know <laughs> i i hope sure same for you <laughs> <laughs> then I would say looking at hardware is something that's very essential when we look at, you know, consumer electronics. And I mean, how can we forget that? So, I mean, you have talked about um, NVIDIA. 
when we look yeah. at competitors like amd intel qualcomm i don't think they were behind in this race amd you know launched its uh, mi 430x mi 440x and mi 445x ai accelerators with uh, helio rack scale ai infrastructure and a lot more they also gave a glimpse yeah. into the rise in ai 400 series processors that they will be launching out you know uh, properly soon even intel uh, launched its core ultra series 3 mobile mm-hmm. processors which are essentially you know focusing on battery life and performance and even graphics to an extent even qualcomm uh, unveiled the snapdragon x2 plus uh, platform for you know copilot use even for pcs and all sorts of personal uses but i feel uh, with qualcomm there's also you know another domain that they delved into which as you we were discussing before robotics they yeah. brought out their qualcomm powered uh, powered flexible robot uh, robots and you know different types of robots you know look at ai pets ai companions and ro- like small robots industrial to full size humanoids everything mm. and mm. when we talk about this i think uh, something of importance again was samsung because uh samsung yeah. didn't just stay into its you know regular uh era of um you know laptops and so and so right. phones but they also gave us more into the bespoke ai combo which you know looks at uh essentially smart uh features throughout your household right. so that's like ai laundry combo with ai washing cycles dressers ai smart vacuum and uh, fridges vision fridge wow. um air conditioning and i i mean everything you can imagine in your house is there so nice. and and this uh you know the ai fridge powered by google gemini will be something that they are prevent you know uh, portraying as the next generation thing the fridge will be you know automatically looking at food in your uh, fridge and giving out food notes and weekly summaries i mean can you imagine that what kind so, of a caloric intake are you taking is this healthy for you not healthy well, for you well yeah 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 nice. yeah might as well look nice. into that so i think that's something uh, very much i would say a lot of people general users might be looking forward to and i guess last but not the least definitely uh, mm. dell also re- redesigned its uh, xp s13 laptop which is essentially more on the affordable side and with this they are aiming to compete with macbook so i guess that's something to definitely note Wow uh, Sanjana that's I yeah. mean it's just such a plethora of such wonderful announcements that uh, have taken place and you've just walked us through all of them but I I need to definitely ask you this across all mm-hmm. of these launches that you have mentioned right what's that one for you for example that uh, is very crucial is is that one that one shift that really matters mm-hmm. according to you hmm. I would say for me it's not about just a uh, let's say one uh, breakthrough or announcement that happened it's mm-hmm. more about the entire shift that we're looking at in the industry you know from big tech companies to semiconductor companies to you know uh, generative ai companies everybody is moving towards that physical ai shift which uh, mm-hmm. you know you can very evidently see at ces you know everybody has their um, i would say a robotic invention along with their uh, major right. stronghold so that's something definite to look forward to and something that i feel is very essential considering the growth of physical ai in the past year 2025 as we have seen and something to look forward to going ahead as well so it's on the precipice and that is something which has excited you the most of course who gains the most from this uh, sanjana is it the consumers <laughs> is it the companies or the big platforms um i would say definitely as much as you know the consumers the big companies and um like definitely everybody does a uh, gain out of this and you know usually mm-hmm. we talk about the consumers in a sense okay you know the product is there and the yeah. consumer consumer is gaining gaining out of it but in this mm-hmm. sense if you look at it physical ai is something that is a lot more complex you know it has hardware it has chips it has um, you know a body of a robot for example um mm. the wheels of a robot and all sorts of things so uh, in that sense i feel it sort of complements all industries and companies in a sense you know a, a chip so is going into the robot hardware is going exactly about. exactly so every layer of that ecosystem is something that's benefiting out of this and not just the end consumer in this case let's okay. say for example a humanoid robot in your house it's not just right. affecting you but the entire industry so that's something i feel Yeah, you that's a very valid point and a very poignant one as well. Uh by the end of 2026 Sanjana, 
what do you think will actually mm-hmm. change how we live because of all of the things that you've talked about a humanoid assisting you at home a gemini in your uh, google tv or for that matter the other aspects that you have just alluded to how do you think we are going to be, li- uh, be living at the end of 2026 I mean uh, we do talk about physical ai in a big sense right now but um, i don't think living at the end of 2026 will change very vastly but uh, definitely it's something to look forward to and um, i believe 2026 uh, might just be the year where you know physical ai is not just in the talks or just as a concept of awareness it you know there might actually be inventions that are bringing forward this concept you know We've physically i have been seeing them the like play. you just said yes definitely and you know robots or uh, drones or like these concepts are not new they've been there for a long time but hmm. 2025 was the year when you know it started become uh, becoming poignant it you know nvidia started talking about it a lot hmm. of big companies the startups that are working in this space out of us out of india everybody started coming to light so i am hoping that 2026 is the year when you know the inventions started coming out finally because es- essentially it's a long gestation period uh, in physical sure. and innovations so and something of a debate which is there in the industry is talking about you know that chat gpt moment for physical ai and yeah, that's as they're Jen- <laughs> doing the rounds yeah yes and as jensen mentioned in his keynote at ces that you know the chat gpt moment for physical ai is here uh as much as i do believe that uh, i also believe that they can never only be just you know one uh, chat gpt moment for physical ai because as we talked okay. about earlier there are many layers to physical ai you know uh, mm. and these gadgets robots or appliances they are all mm. uh, made up of very different it's not the same as you know a generative ai or an llm sure. coming to light you know the way it happened with chat gpt and open ai so this mm-hmm. is going to be a lot more complex and with physical ai the stakes are higher you know having a robot in your house collecting your data or even you know managing your daily tasks is a lot different than you talking to a chatbot on a laptop so uh, because the stakes are higher as well uh, i believe there's going to be you know multiple moments of discovery so if i were to put it like that i guess they can never only be just one company that wins the physical ai race oh very interesting points anjana that you've just made so Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it uh, is mm-hmm. it correct to say that I mean a chat GPT moment was probably like a hundred meter dash because uh, there were not so many orchestrations aligned with it vis-a-vis a physical AI aspect which has to be a relay. Did I get that right? Yes, definitely. I mean, you know, relay uh, as a concept. Uh, if you understand for physical AI, I I totally would understand that. Uh, e- even in generative AI, there has been you know research that has been passed on and taken forward. But physical AI, if you look at inventions and just the mm. moment coming to light, definitely we can say it's more of a relay than a you know dash. All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As Sanjana put it across, uh, the year has just started. it uh, definitely promises uh, some great things as we move ahead physical ai is one thing which is of course definitely the next wave and robotics and so many other wonderful announcements that took place at ces 2026 as she said maybe we are just one more layer away from uh, physical ai becoming a very palpable aspect of our daily lives but you never know we still have 11 months to go and of course this is time to say bye bye on front page but of course we'll keep tracking what's going on with uh, our team of tech journalists who are always live and alive at events like this and who are going to be bringing you wonderful insights and we say it very loud and we say it very proud think ai think ai am